Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good morning, Michael Scheinman. Thank you for joining me here on the Valder BB Show. We're live on air with my audience this morning. And I want to let my audience know that, you know, the last several years have been tremendous growth in the outdoor travel industry. So we invited Michael Scheinman, CEO of Camp Spot, to talk about camping, which has exploded in popularity over the last several years, especially with you baby boomers who are retiring at a rate of, I heard, 10,000 per day in 22 and be, in 2022 and beyond. Michael Scheinman, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Thanks so much for having me, Valder. Okay, let's talk about how camping has, has exploded in popularity over the last several years. Am I incorrect in my introduction? I mean, like, really, people are going crazy for camping. They really are. And, you know, camping had been growing for many years, but it was really the pandemic that surged it to new heights. You know, we had people that were looking for alternative options for travel that were going to be outdoors, that were going to be safer, that were going to allow them to better control their environment. And camping checked all those boxes. So if you were to look at reservations made on Camp Spot between summer of 2020 and summer of 2021, we saw nearly three times the number of reservations. And it doesn't show any signs of slowing down. So I, I think camping is here to stay. When Americans are looking for campsites, what are they looking for? You know, camp, camp, people go camping for so many different reasons. And because of that, they're looking for different amenities and services. But the number one requested amenity when we survey campers is high quality showers and bathhouses, which makes a lot of sense, especially if you've been on the road for many days or, or even weeks getting to the campsite. And then the second most requested amenity is activities for families, because a lot of campers bring the kids and, and want something to keep them occupied while the parents have a little bit of R&R time. Um, so lots of different priorities people are looking for when they go camping. Okay, give me some top destinations and the best campsite for families. Just give me a little bit. Yeah, yeah, there's so many great ones to choose from. So about, you know, Five-ish hours from your listeners and viewers, um, I, I recommend um, the Yogi Bears Guadalupe River uh, Camp Resort. This is, in some ways, a traditional campground in that it has, you know, cabins and RV sites, but it also has a lot of the amenities you'd expect with a luxury resort or even a theme park. They've got water activities. They've got, you know, these excellent facilities. Um, daily and, and weekly events and activities. So I, I would definitely recommend um, the, the Yogi Bears Jellystone Park, Guadalupe River for families in particular. Um, another great destination would be the Camp Fimfo Resort, uh, which is in Texas Hill Country. That's another one that has camping style accommodations, but also resort style amenities, which is a common theme um, that you'll find uh, in, in a lot of full service campgrounds today. Yeah, those are all in pretty locations. All right, finally, give me some tips on uh, maybe the novice or the not-so-seasoned camper, but they want to plan their next camping vacation. So the number one tip I can give is book early. Because of that surge in demand, we're seeing campgrounds sell out faster than ever. And even on Camp Spot, where we have 140,000 campsites that are all instantly bookable, we're seeing a, a lot of the most popular destinations fill up quickly, especially for holidays like Fourth of July and, and Memorial Day. So book early, especially then if you're a, a novice camper or you're just returning to camping, I highly recommend picking a campground that has uh, glamping accommodations, uh, cabins, and, uh, and, and you know, nice bathhouses and, and things like that. It definitely makes easing into the outdoors a little more palatable. All right, then. And on Twitter, uh, one user wants to know, how do they rate the safety of a campsite? Is that on Camp Spot? 
I'm sorry, can you repeat that question? Uh, this this comes from uh, people listen to us on multiple platforms, and yeah. this, come, this question comes from Twitter. They want to know, how do you rate the safety of a camping site? The safety, the safety. So you can look at safety in, in many ways, and I, I don't think there's – uh, one standard way to do it, um, you know, as it relates to you know COVID safety, for example, the very fact that these accommodations are outdoors adds an extra layer of safety. But for some of the campgrounds that have water parks and um, other family friendly activities, it's really unique to what they're offering. And so I'd encourage you to check out our website, campspot.com and research the specific campground that you're looking for. Um, and, and of course, when in doubt, you know, the, the friendly staff at these campgrounds are always happy to help give more information about safety measures and, um, and, and what you can expect when you actually arrive. Michael Scheinman, CEO of Camp Spot, thank you for that great information. I'm thinking of going camping this summer. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Have a great day.